Alrighty guys, I figured I'd make a video on how duty bias works. So um, this is only going to apply to those of you that have the uh, wastegate um, plug plugged in with your JB4. So what duty bias is, it adjusts the feed forward curve for your wastegate. So what that means uh, in layman's terms is adjusting this is so 50 is going to be the default setting that's basically if you're running 50 50 is just uh how the stock uh turbo and wastegate perform on their own by adjusting this gradually this is on a scale of between you know zero when you can't really go zero but zero to 75 by adjusting this you're speeding up the boost curve essentially so you're, you're making the turbo spool up faster now going too high can cause issues um and you'll see that um going you know straight i've seen some people where they try to go straight 75 across the board and um they'll max out their wastegate so the wastegate will hit 99 and um then they kind of have a stutter and uh because they hit max boost early on and then there's there's no room so um, they kind of hit a little bit of a wall, and then um, they don't make good boost up top. So you kind of have a have a you kind of have to find a happy intermediate where you're making a solid boost across the board, um, but you're you're not maxing out early on. Um, you know, maxing out early on could look good on a dyno, um, but it's not going to feel good on the street because you're not going to have consistent power to redline. So. The best way to do this, if you have this hookup, is to gradually adjust. So um, let's say I, I want to gradually adjust. So I, I would go, you know, 50, 52, 55, 57, 59, 61, 63, 65, 67, 70. So we're going to kind of gradually, gradually, gradually get growing. Or I could just do plus five across the board and see how that feels. I could do 55 from top to bottom. And that's going to adjust the wastegate position from 50% um, open slash close to 55% um, closed. Because um, the wastegate builds boost as it closes. So... You know, and, and 55 might feel good. And then I could say, you know, hey, let's let's try 60 and so on and so forth. And I could see what feels the best. And um, each car is going to be a little different because it depends on how much boost you're you know, going for. If you're going for 24 PSI, um, you might need a little bit higher of that wastegate to be a little bit um, a little bit higher to be able to hit those boost numbers, um, you know. You might need that to hit 24 psi. Um, for me, um, you know, I don't necessarily recommend you know going that high. But if I'm shooting for you know 21, 22 psi, I might go 55. I might go, I might just go 55 across the board. I might go 60 across the board. Um, I you know if you're gonna go 75, I don't recommend hitting 75 until you're you know 55, 6,000 because you don't want to max out. Um, you don't want the turbo to close. Yeah, I don't want to hit 99. I don't want to hit, you know, basically fully closed here at 4,000. Um, because I'm going for, you know, power through the whole gear. I don't want to just look good on a on a dyno where I hit a really high peak and then to fall off. Because that, you know, doesn't necessarily feel good. Um, but, of course, you guys have any questions about this? You know, I, I've been um, dealing with the JB4 for uh, about a year now. And um, I'm, I'm pretty involved in the community, and I've uh, tried just about everything you can think of um, uh, on this platform.